name is Ernst Mike. I work for the Netherlands Forensics Institute in, well, The Hague, the Netherlands. Um, we work uh, on various HPC uh, uh, problems. Um, the biggest one in this point of time is uh, working on camera recognition. But before I go into that, um, you probably need to know what the NFI is in the first place. Uh, we're an independent service provider who work for um, uh, the prosecution, but in the end for the judge in court. Um, they have a they get two hypotheses. One is from the prosecution says, well, the suspect actually uh, committed a crime, and a, a hypothesis from the defense, which basically says, no, he didn't. And um, our task is to evaluate the evidence uh, against both hypotheses and get the best, well, most probable answer uh, out of that. Um, we do it independently, um, so we get the task and then we fulfill it as best as science uh, uh, can help us. And by science helping us, I mean that uh, we get to use all the uh, tools that science uses to get their answers. Um, in the end, um, also, astronomy is just a hypothesis being falsified or uh, being supported. Um, for instance, uh, camera recognition, um, CCDs have faults in their, uh, uh, during production and those faults can be seen later on in the imagery taken, whether it's a video or um, a, a picture. Um, we're working on uh, together with the uh, eScience Center in Amsterdam uh, on a project to automate uh, and, and make it a lot quicker uh, to do that, that Im image recognition. Um, because you're looking for basically um, noise in the image and you want to see if other uh, pictures have the same uh, uh, noise distribution. And with that, um, you can help um, um, either parties to find or disprove that uh, a picture was taken with a certain uh, camera or was taken with the same camera. And that last one is for instance um, necessary when you have a picture of a suspect with his wife for instance and um, this attorney says it was taken with the same camera as all these uh, pictures containing the crime um, and the, the, this, the defense is saying, no, it wasn't. Uh, it, it is him, but it wasn't taken with the same camera. Doing that is a very computa computationally intensive task. Um, and we use HPC uh, uh, to crack that. The same goes for cracking passwords, which is also, or cracking encryption in general which is also something um, being done in our um, facility. I know that most people want me to tell how much uh, resources we have for our task, um, but unfortunately I cannot tell that. The other tasks we're going in is more the um, big data instead of the HPC, um, because the average case is very big. Um, the average case is four terabytes of, of seized material, which can be seized hard drives, uh, seized cameras, or seized phones. Um, and those need to be processed within the deadline set by the law, which is a different deadline from a, well, I'd like to get this article published in Nature tomorrow, which is a different deadline. I mean, if you miss that one, you only hurt your own ego. Um, missing this deadline, um, well, basically has legal consequences. And uh, therefore, we invest uh, quite some engineering uh, time to process the data in as small a time as possible using well, all techniques known uh, in the HPC market, but also in the uh, big data market. Um, because our, most of those problems are I.O. bound instead of compute bound. 
Um, and that has its own uh, problem space uh, compared to uh, the, the, hard, the, the very large compute uh, tasks. In general, uh, you can say that detectives don't know what they are looking for. Um, they are looking for something that is um, um, not allowed, but where it is and how they can find it is very um, unknown up front. Um, it's even worse. You don't know if a certain piece of evidence has no value whatsoever to the case before you looked at it. You have to analyze the entire piece of evidence, you have to, look, you have to evaluate the entire phone or the entire hard drive in order to um, be able to say, well, there's nothing of value here, um, it can go back to uh, the suspect or uh, whoever it was seized from. And that's not funny if it's a 4 terabyte hard drive, because just copying the 4 terabyte hard drive is going to take something like 12 to 15 hours, uh, depending on the brand and model and speed. But still, our goal is to do the compute as fast as the original medium can bring the data to uh, the compute or processing facilities. Uh, in that way, we know there is no way the answer could be presented before, uh, uh, well, any, any sooner than, than, than that point in time. For that reason, we're also um, well. We're, we're also doing other projects with uh, uh, university, or university or research institutes in, in the Netherlands, um, because we're not very big. Uh, most of us are um, forensic investigators or forensic scientists, um, and uh, in the end, computer science is just a means of getting to answering those hypotheses. Um, and um, not all of us are working on HPC or large processing uh, problems. And it's very uh, convenient that the Netherlands has um, quite excellent research facilities and research institutes you can cooperate with and, and, and talk with and exchange ideas and um, also have them uh, 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 work on ideas uh, we have um, because they think it's an interesting problem um, and it has direct relevance to well society in general um, because if you can reject a piece of evidence uh, uh, sooner it also means you can let someone go because he goes to a, a investigative judge and there's no evidence and you can let him go um, which is also something people tend to forget. If you can get the results sooner, it also means that someone who is not involved with a case can go. Okay, thank you very much for the interview. You're welcome. Thank you for the invitation.